Hello everybody and welcome to today's edition of Tim in the Truck, or I should say hashtag Tim in the Truck. Tim Weisberg with you and the other day the news came out that Amazon was planning on opening 300 to 400 brick and mortar bookstores across the country. Now this is the same Amazon that is the reason why a lot of those original brick and mortar bookstores went out of business. B. Dalton, Walden Books, Borders, these are all companies that no longer exist because Amazon kind of cornered the market of book sales. And even when they were still around and they were still building new ones, I remember when they built the Borders in Wareham, it was a huge day in my life and, and I loved going there. But even then you could tell what people were doing. They were walking into the bookstore, they were browsing the shelves, they were looking at some of the books, figuring out what they wanted to buy, then putting it back on the shelf, going home and ordering it for cheaper on Amazon. So I think that because Amazon pushed all of those bookstores out of uh, out of business, uh, that it's kind of disingenuous that now they're thinking about opening up these brick and mortar bookshops. And because there was a lot of uh, negative feedback to that, a lot of uh, negative blowback toward Amazon for that announcement, uh, it's kind of funny the actual origins of how it happened and how it came about are starting to get a little bit muddied up. Apparently what happened was there was a, a mall development company uh, that had announced that they had heard, well, in a meeting uh, with their shareholders, they had heard that Amazon was planning on building some of these stores. And, and they threw out the number 300 to 400 stores. And, and Amazon originally would not decline the report, but then they put out some sort of statement saying that it wasn't true, uh, that uh, you know they had never told anybody that. So we, there's no real knowledge of exactly what's going on and what Amazon's plan is. But it makes a lot of sense if you think about it because they're building these distribution centers all across the country so that they can have the product closer to the people. Why not have a bookstore? Because you have those distribution centers so close by, you'd be able to stock that bookstore pretty fast and you'd actually be able to sell the books at the same price that you're selling them for online so there would be nobody to undercut the brick and mortar store like the way Amazon used to undercut Borders and B. Dalton and Walden Books and and Barnes and Noble and all the rest. So uh, if they actually end up going forward with this plan, they do have a prototype in place. Back in November, they opened up uh, Amazon Books at a high-end mall near the University of Washington in Seattle. So they have kind of the idea of what it might be that they plan on building if they go forward and go through with this. Uh, but me, I was always somebody that loved the small independent bookstores. Uh, as an author myself, you know, those were the kind of bookstores that they were making sure were carrying my books when I wrote my books. And those were the kind of bookstores where I was going and having book signing events and lectures and, and meeting the people. Uh, these bigger chain bookshops, sure, they would carry a couple copies of the book on the shelf, but they didn't make as big a deal about it, even if I was a local author. But I've always been about the small independent bookstores. When I was younger, my favorite place in the world was Kenmark Books in Wareham, uh, which was just an old warehouse, you know, an old like book storage bin really uh, you would walk in and on the upstairs they had all the new books uh, and then downstairs they just had shelves and shelves of used books and you would basically walk out of there with a bag full of paperbacks for two or three dollars read them and then go back and sell them back to the guy uh, and, and make a couple of bucks back that way and it was great it was really it was everything that I loved about books uh, being able to read them and then go back and share them with other people so if Amazon goes through with this plan and they decide to start put building these brick-and-mortar bookshops, I wonder how much of the soul of an actual bookstore will be in that building, knowing that it's Amazon-owned and controlled. Uh, and, and I feel like this is really disingenuous on their part because basically they made sure that they eliminated the competition, and now it's wait a couple years, and then we'll go out there and we'll start our own version of it. Uh, I mean, what's next? Are we going to start to see Match.com opening up their own singles bars? Or or is eBay going to open up a thrift shop? And I don't even want to think about what Pornhub is going to do. So that will about do it for Tim in the Truck today. Or should I say, hashtag Tim in the Truck. But I want to know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about bookstores. Uh, would you go to an Amazon bookstore? What are some of your favorite bookstore memories? What are some of the differences between going to a bookstore as opposed to being able to find a book cheaper or more readily available online? Put it on the comments underneath this video. Wherever you see this video, there's a place to comment underneath. And uh, and please help, sh help us share these videos and, and get them out there so that people know all about it. So that'll do it for Tim in the Truck today. Until next time, I will see you on down the road.